Hey, salut! Hello, everyone! Two weeks ago, I received this little beast of a graphic card. I spent 30 hours trying to make it work on Linux to encode and transcode on the fly in my ingest server. Without success. I was pretty disappointed and pessimistic about the future of this card. Being an early adopter on Linux is not really a great thing. I was thinking about a paperweight, expensive one, no? <laughs> so, obviously, I didn't want to give up hope on this baby, and today I got a huge surprise. OBS merged AV1 Intel hardware encoding into their development branch. So guess what? If you are watching this video, it means that I was able to create this content through OBS from the beginning to the end while using Intel AV1 hardware encoding. Insane, no? Let's start with the beginning. About this card, because I do believe AV1 will be the ultimate codec. It will dominate all the other ones in the near future. And this ARC 380 is the best piece of hardware to do the job. And you're gonna tell me like, yes, but the 1490 can encode in MV1? But dude, they cost more than 10 times the price of this one. And bonus, they can transform themselves in barbecue. <laughs> okay, joke aside, I understand the hype about the 1490, okay? I'm just saying that you don't need this type of hardware at this price to just transcode content. So this week, as you can see, like there, I took apart my Linux ingest server and transformed it into a Windows workstation. Yeah, it didn't work on Linux because of like firmware loading correctly in the kernel. And it doesn't mean like I can't use the card. I'm pretty sure you saw a lot of benchmark of this card. From different like youtubers or journalists you know on the internet but i wanted to test it myself to see from my you know content creator standpoint what type of issue or maybe success i will go through let's talk about the limitation first if you get this card you have to take in consideration two technical factors first resizable bar sorry for the uh, pronunciation is required to get the maximum performance out of the card. If you don't have it, forget the card. The Intel Hyper Encode, so that's the number two, is a feature which is going to give you a huge boost in performance. 60 to 88% boost in certain productivity app. But the caveat is that it's only accessible if you own a 12th gen Intel CPU with integrated graphic or newer. So, be aware of those two factors, even if you watch like some over like review on the side, you might see like total different number. And that could be the reason why. In this video, I'm going to be using resizable bar. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I don't own a Intel like 12 generation for using the hyper encode feature. I'm just going to be using my Fred Reaper. What you need to do to make this card work, obviously, is driver. I downloaded the latest Intel beta driver. By the way, there is a trick to make sure you have the latest version. Google Intel beta driver and click on the result. Navigating through their website, for whatever reason, like put me in a weird loop, I could not get out of. I will put the direct link in the description below just to make sure you get the latest driver. The program proposes you to install like two pieces of software, the driver themselves, and something called Arc Center. I tried to install it, again, like without success. I tried every installer. Maybe it's my Windows, I don't know. Uh, it just did not work for me. But the good news is like, you don't need it for what we want to do with the card. So it kind of shows that the driver are not really super ready right now, but they work. Just get it done with the driver, five or six click, and boom, you are done. Okay, the driver are loaded now. And installing software to transcode in this code can be again a challenge because most of the latest like stable version won't work right off the bat. You're going to have to go and download some of the developer build or the night build because at the time I'm recording this video, everyone is pretty fresh. And if you download, for example, like the latest like stable version of Unbreak, 
it won't it just won't work same with ffmpeg and same with obs the one i've tested and that work are handbrake davinci result ffmpeg custom build by gaian sorry for the pronunciation gian i don't know <laughs> all the link will be in the description below the one which was really bothering me was obs i use it on a daily basis to stream but also i use it to record like this type of video i'm doing right now this is the base of all my work and having it not supporting everywhere hardware and code was kind of like bothering me because it makes this card like totally like useless i could record and then like re-encode with another software but this is not what i wanted to do we needed like the dev to actually spend some time on obs to create those light of code those line of code to integrate the hardware encoding within their build and before yesterday i really felt like intel arc owner will be doomed when i was looking at the timeline of development of obs nvidia everyone got pushed through their obs beta the day of release and for you to understand like intel arc was released almost six months ago and there were nothing announced anywhere until yesterday on the good side this is the power of open source someone push the specific line of code to support hardware encoding boom the functionality are being pushed everybody can watch it and everybody can test it this is amazing okay like this is literally amazing so how how do you make that work well the good news is that you just need to log in on github go to the daily like github build and download the obs beta version which include everyone hardware encoding for intel simple as that you unzip the file add a portable mode because that's how i do it personally and i think that's the best and you launch it and voila hardware everyone encoding available enjoy hey you know what else you could enjoy you could enjoy supporting the channel by liking this video you know giving a little thumb up or if you are not a sub yet just subscribe to this channel or even become a patreon to directly like support me for making this kind of video yep i would really appreciate that today you can choose between like cbr and vbr for the recording section you have access to the main option i won't go deep in those and it could become like really complex really fast i'm sure all the different hardware encoding will be supported in the near future but to be fair it's a pretty good start so now let's talk about performance oh my god when it comes to pure performance for encoding this card is insane like i i don't know how to say that to you guys this is insanity in terms of like fps performance it uses 15 percent of the encoding power while encoding at 14 14p 60 fps in everyone slow preset which means i could easily add two or three more encoding without reaching the limit of the card so you know me i tried this morning while streaming uh, i'll put the link in the description below to see how we look i encoded 14 14p for the youtube channel in x264 I encoded 720p for Twitch. And on top of that, I encoded in AV1 VBR slow for my own recording. And guess what? I was not even able to reach 50% of usage for the encoding chip. It, this is crazy. I like, I'm going to have to do more tests to see like how deep I can go to break out or break up. I don't know how to say that, like to, to just destroy this card. The bitrate I was using is 20,000 kilobits per second. The quality is not lose less at this rate, but it's pretty damn good. And I need to make more tests to have an idea of what is really good or enough for me. But as you can see, it's, it's pretty dope. Another question I was asking myself was that, can I push the recording directly into DaVinci Resolve? And I've watched some video and most of the YouTubers were saying you can't well you can i did edit this video using av1 only smaller file everywhere compared to what i'm used to 
and also recorded this like thing this this like talking head in 4k 30 fps and it took me let me check right now 25% of the power of encoding of this chip. We are in 4K 30 FPS right now. Full color range, like everything to the max. So what did we learn in this video? Well, open source is just so good. We have a real world use case right now. We needed the hardware to be supported. A community member and make a push on GitHub. Everybody can test it and benefit from it even before the release. This is amazing. Everyone is crazy impressive. This video quality at this bit trace is just breathtaking. And this is just the first patch iteration for the implementation of OBS. I'm looking forward to have like the big streaming platform aiding everyone support. It will be a game changer for all the viewers around. Also, think about the space you're gonna be able to gain by transcoding your old video using this AV1 codec. I'm guessing you're gonna at least save half of your space because the transcoding power is so huge with this card. It's, it's crazy. And you're gonna be able to do it really fast. Because this little beast here is transcoding like crazy. But before you do that, you're gonna have to wait a little bit because a lot of software right now are not fully supporting the new tech. You're gonna be still able to do it, but you're gonna have to roll with a beta, unstable like software driver release until we reach like this, like, you know, like stable like environment. For me, the Intel Arc A380 is a real banger. For 140 US dollar, you can have a real transcoding machine in your hand. Okay? So if you want to get one of those, I really encourage you to use the link in the description below because it'll help like the channel like crazy. And uh, even if you are Linux, you are using Linux, I will still recommend it because you get it now. I'm pretty sure like those updates are gonna go through pretty fast and when it's done you're gonna have a, I would say again this word like crazy encoding potential and at this price it's just like I don't know it's, to me it's 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 a game changer so yeah that's it that's all in case you missed my first impression on this card on Linux I suggest you to take a look uh, I also want to thank all my patreon supporter and my YouTube member for helping me financially. Uh, there's a reason why like, I can make this type of video. If you want to see more videos like this, please support the channel. Until then, have a good one and see you in the next video. Bisous, bisous.